Question 2. The combination of both the main product and the ancillary tasks was improved by the consideration of the target audience and using a house style. I tried to make all three products consistent through the use of titles in particular. For example, I used the same font types in the titles of the trailer, which were kept the same as the title of the film itself. This was the same font throughout all of the products, which created a more professional package, as in traditional examples of the slasher subgenre. The film title will be the same font throughout. Similarly, I feel that the polished mise-en-scene and colour correction of some shots during the trailer, which I edited, link back to the poster itself, which was again adjusted to reflect a more atmospheric, foggy style. The magazine front cover is a little different in its style to the other two products, but this is because of the different genre and medium. As I made the magazine more generic in its style, it obviously has different fonts to be used. However, by reiterating the title aggression in a large size on the page and including the image of the antagonist, there is still suspense built on the page which links to the small image of the killer on the poster. We've included, by doing this, hint to the actual killer in the trailer which would intentionally make the audience want to find out more about who was involved in the film. I think the effectiveness of this was mainly due to creating numerous drafts and spending a lot of time considering the target audience. Our age range was between 16 and 25 and I've tried to link to this by keeping a more subtle suggestive style in the poster and magazine. There is no blood for example but this is instead suggested by the red font choice. I think this reflects the themes of our film a lot more and linking to the subgenre, but also including our unique selling point, which was the supernatural twist. By considering the target audience and conventions, our product is overall made more professional, but at the same time a little different because of the unique selling point. Question 3. The consideration of the target audience has played a massive part in the development of all three products I created. We considered it as early as the pre-production and research stage. Initially, we created a survey on an online website called SurveyMonkey, and based on questions we created to cater to what we wanted to include, we learnt of the typical features which our audience, ages 16 to 25, expected to find. This included conventional settings such as a forest and a rural village or town, as well as methods in which they expected the killer to murder victims. The survey helped us understand what our target audience wanted by looking at statistics about the certain features. For example, I didn't expect to find that the audience wanted the killer to use their bare hands. Because of this, we adapted the narrative when I wrote the shooting script to focus on a suggestive way of killing. As well as this, we tried to focus on the story of the characters rather than violence. And this again links back to the fact that the target audience aren't expecting blood, but rather they want to find a certain style and suspense to the film, which we achieved through the quick editing and the colours. We knew from analysing previous works that we had to include some conventional features which I've already explained, but after creating the poster and the magazine front cover in particular, we found out certain aspects that needed to be changed. I got feedback from a member of the audience who I showed my work about what they felt worked and what didn't. Because of this, I learnt of ways in which I could change the layout of the poster and also fonts I could change and adapt. I also decided to stray away from the fan fiction style of my magazine and focus on a generic format which I've already explained and through this the poster and the magazine have both developed to appear a lot more professional and also include topics and plugs which are more reflective of the target audience we wanted to use. Overall, this development has worked across all three products to make them more effective by being more subtle and also more professional.